the Rampage doors. This is how the Rampage door prints out. Uh, prints with like a grill in the door frame. The idea behind this was uh, it could act as like a grate for like a cell um, or it could be supports. It was kind of an idea that we had. I've also included some options in the file pack now so you can print out the doors without this grating and use the supports built in with your slicer. Uh, but if you're going to print them out like this, all you need to do is cut them out. Um, and you can do that with a craft knife and just chop them out. And then out they come. Sometimes I've left them in like that, so they're like a broken cell door. But that's up to you. And then you clean them up. And that um, gets rid of this flashing or support material. It's really easy to clean because it's on a flat surface on the sides. And the same on the bottom. I'm doing a bit of a quick job of this. And then on the top too, you also get some stringing, which you want to get rid of. Just kind of scrape that out. And a good thing to have on hand is a pair of pliers. But the stringing's underneath, so you don't really see it when it's on the table. And sometimes there's more or less stringing, it's hard to know. It just depends how the printer catches it. I'm also doing a, I think I said before, a version where you can use the actual inbuilt built supports from the slicer so you won't actually get this. So that's the frame there. And you can see the bottom of the frame is two holes on each side and they're for the hinges for the door. On the top, although you can't see it that well, there's a sliding sliding lock system so the the bottom part goes in first and the top slides in and locks so if I get a door so what should happen now is you put the bottom into this hole and then you click the top it's a little bit stiff until you Get more of that stringy stuff out of there. And with a little bit of cleaning up, it should work like that. And that's essentially how it works. You can also have the double doors. The double doors are the same. Because there's two holes at the bottom, you just click in the actual top part first. Put the bottom in, you've got to make sure that's sit, sit right down inside the actual hole. And then push the door. And this means you can print out this whole thing in one piece. The problem if we print this top part separate and glue it together is the pressure of these Will, for, will, will break this top part off. Um, so it's crucial that it will prints as one. But yeah, you can see this has still got some support material on that door. I kind of left it on because it looked like Rebo Bar. Um, but there's two ways to, when you actually print these doors, you can actually print the door side on like that. Um, so the printer will lay its lines up and the lines will help with the grain, or you can print it flat. Uh, same with these, you can print them either flat or on their side. 
don't forget if you print something like that on its side you're going to need to have uh, um, a base on there otherwise it'll fall over so there you go that's the doors